Hey everyone, welcome to Day Deal on Display, DayDeal.com's own YouTube channel regarding product previews, reviews, and demonstrations. Today we're going to be taking a look at the OtterBox Defender case for the HTC Inspire 4G. You're more than welcome to check this case out at its official website at any time, and that's going to be located at www.otterbox.com. Now there may be confusion for some of you out there because you notice the retail packaging does say Defender Series HTC Desire HD. Well, if you're not in the know yet, the Desire HD as well as the Inspire 4G are exactly the same phone. They're just for different regions. So accessories out there for either phone are going to be cross compatible. So just please keep that in mind. If you're looking for accessories for the Inspire 4G and something that says Desire HD does pop up, you're going to be a okay. That will go ahead and fit the phone. And of course, vice versa. Now the funny thing about this video that we're making today, the OtterBox Defender case for the Inspire 4G isn't actually up on the official website as of yet. Only the commuter case is listed. This isn't necessarily a sneak preview of this item because it actually has been out for quite some time now and there are a lot of happy owners who can attest to that. So we're just kind of bringing this uh, video to you as is. If you go to the official website and you don't see it up there, we apologize ahead of time. We just want to let you know that uh, just go ahead and wait to a later date. It will be listed on the official site which is not yet right now. Now aside from that the Defender case for the uh, Inspire 4G is surprisingly simplistic as you see on the right hand side right there and of course we like this because it makes uh, people who've never used a Defender case before uh, that much happier. In the past Defender cases used to be this really elaborate ordeal where you needed a fold out instructional pamphlet to install on your phone but now that they've streamlined everything and uh, even have a built in screen protector into the actual case itself you actually have this really great protective cover that takes a minute to install, a minute to remove, and just looks great, feels great, and it's just a really a testament to our box's uh, long-standing, uh, you know, dedication to quality. It is one of those brands that everyone talks about whenever they recommend a cell phone accessory, and of course, we're big fans of them as well. They've really stepped up their game in the last year because competition has gotten fierce. So, moving on with all that mumbo jumbo out of the way, let's go and talk about the actual Defender itself and all its individual components. I've broken them down into its uh, three main parts. The first part on the upper left hand corner is the polycarbonate frame that actually has a very beautiful built in screen protector to it, and uh, it's pretty much nothing out of the ordinary. That's your first line of protection for your Inspire 4G. The second layer is that very thick silicone skin layer that you see on the upper right hand side that actually has some well placed dust covers on that and that will wrap around the skeletal frame respectively. Finishing off with the Defender case you have this really nice sturdy belt clip holster that's meant to house the uh, actual OtterBox case once it's fully installed on your phone and it also can double as a kickstand. Now, I want to mention that the OtterBox Defender case uh, is usable both face in and face out while it's inside the holster case so that's very cool. While you're traveling of course you want to put it face in when you're just doing regular stuff or you actually want to go ahead and use it as a kickstand then just go ahead and put it in face out. Now just to take a closer look of all these individual parts before I actually give you the 360 tour on our display version of the Inspire 4G starting with the poly, uh, polycarbonate frame layer you will notice that the screen protector built in is absolutely beautiful. Now OtterBox has done this before they built in the screen protector into the actual case itself with their Defender series it's actually kind of like an ongoing thing nowadays uh, they don't want people to install the screen protector uh, by themselves for this layer of a case in other words this series of cases but the one for the Inspire 4G specifically the ones the ones that we're looking at right now this is just absolutely stunning I'm not too sure what it is about it but it seems so professionally done that uh, I'm really kind of lost for words it almost looks like you're looking through a window so to speak as you can see right there now unfortunately it still kind of suffers from our boxes long-standing tradition of having somewhat cloudy screen protectors but this one is not as bad as the previous ones we've seen there's not that much of a yellowish tint to it but it does actually kind of gray out uh, things uh, ever so slightly you notice these cases are nice jet black if you hover over the screen protector just a bit it does gray out uh, ever so slightly but we feel it doesn't affect the color vibrancy of your Inspire 4G's screen that much we do just want to go ahead and note that now on the back piece you will notice that there are actually small little protectors over the lens and the uh, LED flash now of course this is a defender case they had to put that there to protect the lens and the flash respectively but of course it may affect your pictures ever so slightly so if the conditions are right you might get glare back you might get some problems with your pictures artifacts might show up on the finished pictures 
so please go ahead and keep that in mind. Those aren't ghosts you see in the picture, okay? <laughs> That's probably just glare back you got back from the uh, screen protector that's covering the camera lens. And moving on from this, I'm just going to go and put this aside to the actual screen protector layer. Nothing out of the ordinary. Typical high quality stuff from OtterBox themselves. You actually will notice that there's a screen protector on the bottom to protect the all important ports on the bottom of the Inspire 4G and that is it. That is the only dust cover located on it. And just to emphasize once more how simple of design this really is for a Defender case. Everything just seems very, very just, well, well planned out, well thought out. And there you go. Of course a nice large opening in the back for the cutout on the uh, actual skeletal frame itself. I'll show you this at the end of the video. I will go ahead and just mention the uh, belt clip on the back. See, you can actually lock it into place to use it as a kickstand and just rotate in a full 360 degrees. So we have one pre-installed and all ready to go on our display version of the Inspire 4G right now. I'm going to give you a nice little zoom in to show you how it all looks. Now, I want to mention ahead of time that we know that this is the display version of the phone, but this is the official display version. So However the case looks on this model of phone right now, we can guarantee you it's going to look exactly the same as it would on the live phone itself. We're going to go ahead and start with the front of the Defender case and the lip that it creates on the front of the Inspire 4G. As you can see, it's absolutely massive. Not only is it very, very wide, it's extremely deep. And that screen protector is already built in and, once again, beautifully done from OtterBox. So, you can rest your phone on any surface you want to out there. It is going to be A-OK. -okay. That lip is going to keep it well elevated away from the surface you're resting it on and of course anything that it doesn't happen to elevate it away from the screen protector should go ahead and kick in and block your screen from getting corrupted up by any means necessary and that's all we have to say about that of course if you happen to drop it no worries whatsoever this can probably fall from a dead drop off a uh, you know intense I guess you can say the second story of a building, it's going to be A-OK -okay as well because not only is the case nice and durable, but that lip is absolutely huge, so you're going to be just just fine. Moving on to the top, we have a covering for the sleep and wake button. No surprises there. Pretty straightforward design. Easy to press because it does protrude out uh, quite nicely. On the other side, we have a uh, covering or protrusion for the volume up and down rocker. It's not split in the middle, which is a design we actually prefer a little bit uh, more in cases nowadays because you can just rub with your fingers and feel which one's the up and down button, but it still does its job and it's nice. Not much to say on this side. Moving on down here to the bottom dust cover. We mentioned this a little bit earlier. Let me just get that uh, piece of schmutz out of the way. I'm not sure that is like dust. Fortunately, the case is a dust magnet, but you hardly notice it most of the time. Popping up the uh, actual dust cover itself, you can see it exposed the bottom microphone, the 3.5 millimeter audio jack, as well as the all important USB port. If you cover it up with the dust cover, the uh, microphone is still exposed, and people can still hear you while it's inside uh, the OtterBox Defender case, your Inspire 4G, I should say. Finishing off in the back, this is just going to give you a nice detailed look of the camera lens, the built-in speaker, as well as the LED flash. Remember, there are little guards covering them, so pictures may not come out 100% of the time unscathed or unaffected, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem uh, with the case in general. And when you don't need all that protection or you just casually hang around uh, the office or you're about to go out and you want to watch some videos on your phone, you're more than welcome to do so with the included uh, kickstand slash belt clip holster from OtterBox. It's very sturdy uh, and it works like this. Now, although you can go ahead and use it uh, in uh, portrait mode as well, standing up, we don't necessarily recommend this that because, the, uh, because the Inspire 4G is actually quite a heavy phone, so there's a tendency for this to kind of tip over ever so slightly, but if you use it in horizontal or landscape mode, you should be just fine. And we do want to mention that our box has long done away with their spring clips. They use do use very sturdy metal hinges, as you can see right there, almost like mini little alligator clips. So that is going to last the test of time. This is a huge step up from what they used to use, spring clips, uh, mini, mini many many moons ago and we highly encourage all manufacturers nowadays to switch over to metal hinges whenever possible and that's it folks for the OtterBox Defender case for the HTC Inspire 4G so check it out at the official website at www.otterbox.com when you have the chance and of course when it does actually pop up and you can check it out at our own website we have it available now at www .daydeal.com keep following us on our YouTube channel Daydeal on display for more product previews, reviews, and of course demonstrations. Thanks as always for watching.